Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be unboxing this cycle light. So uh, I usually I just started riding during night and early morning. So a good cycle light is a uh, pretty much a basic requirement for safety and just to see things around you. So I just bought this uh, cycle light. Nothing branded. This is like my uh, a budget friendly light. So this is the box I just received. So today I'll be doing its unboxing. So it's a Shivaxim. Um, cycle light under the Shivaxim brand. It's a generic Chinese light. So under the Shivaxim brand, I bought it for uh, 6.99, around 700 rupees. So today we'll be doing this unboxing. So first of all, we get this pamphlet. Okay, the basic instructions about lights and all that. You can just uh, pause the video and read it. And it, it is claiming 800 lumens, which would work for three hours and. 400 lumens though I though I don't think it's around 800 lumens but we will still see uh, although uh, it may not be as uh, as promising as the rated values but it, it's still a very good uh, flashlight so heads of flasher but before that let's see the accessory so we get a, a micro USB cable and it's a two point so you can see the two terminals so you can't use it as a Data cable just for just for power delivery and charging, and secondary we get a cycle mount. Okay, so this is one type of cycle mount, and in other lights we have uh, a different type of cycle mount. Basically, a rubber to pull and attach something like so. So this is a this is a very uh, basic. I don't know. It's a less than basic. Okay, uh, I don't. I won't rely my light on this cycle mount. It's, it seems pretty fragile. Uh, like uh, it's not even the minimum uh, that's required. So everything is basically held with these two thin plastic uh, wires, you can say. So I won't rely much on it. But I'll make a separate video on how to strengthen this and all that because uh, after all, you need uh, to use it. So. The compromise made here the light is uh, great in comparison to the accessory it's a full metal uh, partially metal body it's uh, aluminium which, which is coated and it's ipx6 rated as for the pamphlet and though we can see there are rubber seals here and rubber seals here it's a rubber button and everything is uh, this is also rubber these are some uh, hex screws so everything is sealed pretty nicely it's a dust cover uh, water cover so though it's still a chinese made light so i'll be i'll be pretty i won't completely rely on it so as soon as the rain starts or something i i will rely on it for just some splashes and all that but not uh, uh, fully riding in rain so this is the flashlight it has five modes so first of all i will show you if you press and hold this we get a alternate uh, flashing lights are red and blue and they are claiming around 100 hours of 100 hours of battery life on this and uh, the one thing i like this the alternate lights have a separate system if you press and hold that operate the side lights and simple click and all that will operate with these lights so uh, another uh, next we have these four modes this is the full brightness so right now i have my iso locked so you will see pretty much what i see with my own eyes the brightness is yeah the brightness is something like that so it's also hardly visible for me to to see my hand so yeah this is the first mode and this is the second mode this is the third alternate flashing lights and this is the fourth mode a uh, yellow light though its, br it's brightness is not that high or it's uh, pretty much like a DRL the day running lights it won't provide any forward it won't illuminate anything but it's for like other people they can see you that you have something uh, light on your vehicle or if you if you call it a cycle vehicle another thing i like is that the, it has this battery 
battery indicator so each indicator represents uh, 25% and we can charge this with this micro USB any micro USB charger as long as it's 1.5 ampere I want to risk this uh, this channel stuff with anything higher than 1 ampere so right now it's charging so it's flashing as soon as it gets charged completely it, it will stop flashing so this was the unboxing and now I'll show you I'll show you it in dark okay completely in dark so let's go yeah so we are out now so first of all I'll show you these battery indicators and now the this is the light on full brightness and I'll try to focus it's it's too much bright let me reduce the ISO so this is something like like how I see it the center that is too bright and surrounding is properly illuminated so this is at full power and it turns off this is at yeah focus this is at full power this is half power I, I prefer half power is more than enough to illuminate your pathway your road this is third this is third mode internet flashing yellow and white and this is fourth mode with just yellow so it doesn't illuminate much it, as I said it's more like DR a lot just to read something and now let's try again and now I'll turn on these flashing lights So yeah, these are pretty good too. Before seeing other people can see you easily. So this was the review guys and I'll make separate videos for a comparison with this light. This is a touch light from the same brand Shivaxim. Okay, I'll make a comparison video with this light. It comes with a horn touch button the touch button is a specialty and the horn and I'll make separate video for this this uh, holder or whatever you can say this accessory because it will take a lot of time so hope you like the video please hit the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel see you soon goodbye